All right, hello everyone. So for today, we're going to be doing a fuel test of the fuel that I've taken from my 1964 F-250. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a density versus temperature test. So we're gonna be measuring the specific gravity of a fuel sample I've taken from my truck with a hydrometer. And going off of our chart we have here with what temperature it is, we'll be able to tell whether or not we have an issue with the fuel. So the fuel is from my 1964 F-250. It's been running slightly poor lately. Um, I'm suspect that I probably have a bad batch of fuel causing the issue. So what I'm going to be doing is doing this test to determine whether or not that's an issue. So I've taken a large sample of fuel so that I can do the test. What I need to first do is get 100 milliliters of fuel in my test beaker and then go off the temperature that we're at. So we're roughly 60 degrees plus or minus a couple degrees. So we're going to be going off of this middle line of the chart right here. Then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the thermometer and putting it in our hydrometer that's going to be measuring specific gravity. So we're going to let that settle a little bit as it bobs up and down. And wherever the line that's exposed on the hydrometer is, is what our specific gravity is. So our specific gravity is showing... Oh, almost lost it there. Uh, 0.745 five specific gravi gravity or relative density so if we go off of our chart at 60 degrees 0 0.075 or 0.745 falls in this column and we are showing that we have a heavy fuel issue or deposit problems so one of the things that we can have with fuel that is deemed heavy is it's going to have a cold idle issue it's going to have cold acceleration issues we're also going to have greater deposits build up on the valve combustion chamber and the spark plugs so at this point what i'd need to do is i'd need to drain the tank completely of all old fuel and clean the system out add new fuel filters and then start with a fresh batch of gas um, the truck is fuel injected so it should be able to learn that it has a new batch of gas going off of the air fuel ratio sensor and the map sensor so from here, what I'll have to do is I'll have to drain the tank. Um, appreciate you guys watching the video. I uh, hope you guys got something out of it and we'll see you in the next one.